what's going on everyone diamond dust 132 back here with yet another update uh i know i just made one of these uh, i think last week but uh i'm attempting to make as uh, many of these as often so you guys know what's going on on my end because you know like my channel has a habit of uh dying i guess uh you know i'll upload content pretty steadily and then all of a sudden it'll be like months before the next update so if something does come up that prevents me from uh uploading then at the very least, uh, you guys will know why. So yeah, I'm gonna try to do these things uh, very regularly. Might come up with a name for them because uh, I guess this is basically a podcast. But yeah, you know, whatever. Today's update won't be anything serious. Uh, as far as I know, there's been no uh, new information on that DLC character, so I have nothing to report on that end. Uh, this is just gonna be like a general update as to what I'm doing, uh, what's going on with the channel, uh, what I'm working on, stuff like that. So the uh, first order of business is, uh, of course, I want to remind everyone that I am currently working on some new tutorials. Uh, in fact, I have created a straw poll. I'm going to put the link to that in the video description. Uh, there's already a couple of votes on there already because I, I, I made it the other day. Uh, but anyway, yeah, if you got the time, make sure to check that out and vote. There are three characters. And uh, how this works, if, if you've forgotten, is uh, the top two characters, they get tutorials made. So the person with the most votes... Uh, I'll, I'll do them first. The character with the second most votes, uh, I'll do them second. Uh, the person that's third, uh, depending on how many votes they get, I'll probably just throw them on uh, the next draw poll. But uh, yeah, uh, go ahead and vote on that if you got the chance. Uh, I know I said I probably wasn't going to do straw polls anymore, but I ended up changing my mind because they, they work out really well. Uh, well, the main problem is I, I think I said, had suggested you just put your uh, character you want in the comments section. But the problem with that is uh, 20 people could ask for 20 different characters and that wouldn't get me anywhere. So uh, draw poll is just easier for me. But yeah, yeah, uh, I know I'm sounding like a dead horse, but uh, go ahead and vote if you got the chance. Okay, in other news, uh, I was recently on another Dream Cancel podcast. This might be my second or third one. I can't really remember. But anyway, we were uh, discussing the latest uh, DLC character for King of Fighters 14. Uh, this actually happened, uh, like, literally the day afterwards, so, uh, uh, a lot of stuff I said in, uh, my own podcast was kind of reiterated, but there were also a lot of, uh, really good stuff, uh, the, uh, the guys that were on there, they brought up some really good stuff, so, uh, if you got the time, please do check that out, you know, help support Dream Cancel, and also, you know, just, just to watch an, uh, awesome podcast, uh, it, it, it came in, it's a little over an hour, so it's a little long, but, uh, I would highly recommend anyone sitting through the whole thing it's definitely worth it uh while i'm here i want to give a big shout out to dreamcancel.com uh, for letting me hop on their podcast like i said this is the second or third time i've done one of them and i always have a blast when i do it it kind of inspired me to do stuff like this so uh yeah go check that out if you got the chance so uh, i got another bit of exciting news uh believe it or not i was uh, given the opportunity to do some uh, commentating uh on a Saturday, I believe. What's today? Uh, well, it's Sunday when I'm recording this. Sunday night, to be exact. But anyway, uh, you all know Game Goons. Uh, if you don't, then uh, I'll probably just uh, link to their website or their YouTube because uh, I'm, I'm bad at explaining stuff that isn't mine. So that'd probably be uh, the best, uh, your best bet. But you know, if you know Hell Pockets, then he, you know he's a part of Game Goons. Game Goons, excuse me. Uh, Gibby, him too. Anyway, getting back to the point, uh, they were having a commentary boot camp, and I was one of the. Uh, uh, people fortunate enough to be able to uh, hop on and uh, do some commentary. Uh, commentary boot camp uh, is basically they get some people like me who aren't very experienced uh, with commentating, but like maybe they want to give it a shot or give it a try. And so they gathered me and a, a few other people, and we got to commentate some amazing matches. I mean, there were players like Reynold, Evo Champion Reynold, uh, KCO Pedro. There were so many good players there, and I and I was one of the few people that got to commentate. A Reynold match, like that's crazy. Like that is crazy when you think about it. Uh, I am very humble. I was very fortunate uh, to have been able to try my hand at calling some matches. I mean that 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 was insane. Uh, like commentary isn't really something I've ever thought about doing, but I mean I had a lot of fun the other day. Uh, and now it's something I, I'd really like to do in the future. Uh, so, so hopefully Hell Pockets and everyone else at Game Goons they they they, they do another one of these uh, commentary boot camps. And they have me back, because that would be awesome. Uh, so I'm going to put some links in the description for those who want to check out my uh, nasty, nasally voice. 
because my mic was kind of acting up and it was a little quiet uh because i'm using a new mic right now but anyway uh yeah i'm gonna put some links in the description and uh you can you can hear me and uh, uh, uh the other people trying their hand at commentary and uh yeah if you do check it out go ahead and give gang a subscribe if you haven't already because they upload some really really good stuff because i know i know they got a podcast and then they and they have a lot of uh stuff on a lot of games i know i saw dragon ball fighters on there but anyway yeah if you do check out that commentary uh let me let me know in the comment section uh what you thought about it or maybe if i should uh continue to dip my hat in commentary or maybe i should just stay in my lane <laughs> well yeah you know just like uh, yeah let me know okay i'm gonna be moving on to uh i guess uh, some business here uh i just want to remind everyone who will be in uh, rosemont illinois and attending con alt delete on december 17th so that's uh, none of you <laughs> but in the off chance that you are attending this con uh i just want to remind you to check out my intro to king of fire panel uh for those that don't know what con alt delete is it's a uh, winter anime convention uh as it's gonna be a whole lot of fun from the looks of it uh i, I know a convention and winter sounds kind of insane but uh I went to another con, these guys, the same people ran in the summertime, it, it was great. So, uh, even with the cold weather, I, I expect to have a whole lot of fun. Uh, going back to the intro to King of Fires panel, uh, I'm gonna put the information on screen again. Uh, but basically, I wanna go over the King of Fires series as a whole. And I'm gonna start from 94 all the way up to 14. So, you're, we're gonna be looking at every game, the rosters, the mechanics, all that kind of stuff. After I get through with that, then I wanna go through the basics on how to. Play King of Fighters. Uh, this will most mostly apply to 14 since it's the newest one, but uh, you know how King of Fighters mechanics are. Some of them, some of them are uh, universal, like rolling, how combos work, hopping, hyper hopping, etc. I'm gonna go through all those mechanics. So it should be a lot of fun. And uh, if you can attend, I would greatly appreciate the support. So I mean, the idea of this panel, I, I, it's gonna be basically for beginners, but of course, if, if you just wanna learn some more tips and tricks, you're, you're more than welcome to drop by. And uh, like I said in the last video, uh, I'm trying to set it up in a way I can record the whole thing and then just upload it to YouTube for, for everyone who can't make it, which is almost all of you for obvious reasons. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it should be a lot of fun. And there is another upcoming event I would like to uh, remind everyone about, and that is uh, Frosty Faustings. That will be uh, January 18th through the 19th at the Clarion Inn in Waterford Conference Center. That's in uh, Elmhurst, Illinois. Uh, for those of you who don't know what Frosty Faust things is, that's one of the uh, biggest majors uh, in the country, and that happens to be in uh, my home state of Illinois. Uh, I think that's just a train ride away from me. Uh, it's one of the biggest tournaments in the Midwest, so uh, you should do whatever it takes to uh, pay for your plane ticket, fly up here, get in on this action. They are of course have King of Fighters 14 there because they would be mad people if they didn't. Uh, but they also have a lot of old and new fighting games. We're talking stuff like Street Fighter 2, 3, 4, uh, Tekken, Guilty Gear, Blaze Blue, uh, any old fighting game you can think of. I, I know they're gonna have like a Tatsunoko vs. Capcom, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. I could keep going, but I'm gonna link it in the comment section. You can check out all the games on that page. And they're also having the Chicago Mystery Tournament. I have never entered that myself, but I hear it's loads of fun. Uh, I, I basically what that is, is they get like a bunch of random games. I, I know, I think they did Power Stone one time was one of the games and Street Fighter 3. I, but I don't think it has to, it's not exclusively fighting games. So like, yeah, they don't tell you beforehand. You just have to put your money down and just guess what's going to be it. But it's a lot of fun from what I hear. Uh, the reason I'm bringing this up, uh, like I said, I, I live in Illinois. Uh, I will be attending this to play some King of Fighters, probably some Marvel 2. Uh, and this is not an endorsement. Uh, I'm not getting paid to say this, because uh, because the people who run Frosty Faust things, uh, no doubt, have no clue who I am. <laughs> Only you guys know who I am. Uh, nevertheless, this is going to be a big tournament. Again, I'm going to be there, and I'm hoping to see a lot of you there. Give me some shout-outs, and then uh, you can come bot me in King of Fighters too. <laughs> so it should be a lot of fun. So again, uh, that's going to be January 18th through the 19th at the uh, Clarion Inn in Waterford Conference Center in Elmhurst, Illinois. I gotta look at Google Maps for that because I'm, I'm brain lagging as to where and what that is. And that's gonna do it for this update. Uh, I appreciate you all uh, tuning in. And if you've gotten this far in the video, I, I really appreciate you. Uh, this this is a little long, uh, but uh, yeah, I had a lot to say, I guess. 
So if you could uh, go ahead and you, if you haven't already, uh, give me a subscribe. Uh, give me a follow on Twitter. There's a lot of updates there. And I, I usually announce when I'm going to uh, do new tutorials and stuff like that. Also, this is a big one. If you could go ahead and help me out on Patreon, that would be, uh, I, I would greatly appreciate that. Uh, I've had this page open for uh, a couple of months. I finally got my first Patreon, uh, I think last week. Uh, big shout out to Calvin Klein. But I could really use some more help. Because I love making tutorials. I love making King of Fighters content. I like making podcasts like this. But, uh, you know, it takes time. And uh, I, 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 at the moment, I don't have the resources to uh, juggle all that. So uh, if you could help me on Patreon, that would be really great. Um, You won't be doing this uh, for free. Uh, I'm not just asking for money. Uh, if, if you do support me on Patreon, you are eligible to receive cool stuff like Steam codes or PS4 codes for like various fighting games. We are talking stuff like King of Fighters 98 Ultimate Match, King of Fighters 13 on Steam, Last Blade 2 on PSN. Uh, I'm going to have like a full list on my Patreon page of like what games are eligible. And there's like a limit uh, price-wise because I'm not a rich man, unfortunately. <laughs> but uh, yeah, th that's one of the incentives. Another incentive is uh, you will get access to my tutorials ahead of time. Uh, we could be talking days in advance. Uh, I'll probably do like a week in advance. If you're like a one dollar Patreon, you, yeah, you'll, you'll see the tutorial uh, one week in advance. Uh, so yeah, like I said, there's a lot of incentives for helping me out. I'm not just uh, asking for money here. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna put the link in the description. So if you can, just go check it out, take a look. I'm not even gonna be asking for much. Even a dollar from from one of you would be great. All right, guys. Yeah, I think I've rambled on enough. I've taken up more than enough of your time. This is Diamond Dust 132 signing out. And remember, vote on that straw poll for the next character tutorial so I can jump into the lab and get stuff ready for you guys. All right, guys. Peace out.